welcome you back to another episode of um, Law Education Zone Crash Excel Formulas. And today we are going to be dealing with um, nested functions. So, nested function is a very big thing to talk about in Excel, and um, we are going to be dealing with nested functions. Let's start by um, talking about one function we can perform in our data. So, basically, we can calculate the average of two maximums. So, for example, if um, I add um, this column of total and I have this column of product, and then I wanted to add, and I wanted to add the um, the highest number in the total column to the highest number in the product column, all I need to do is I will just have a new um, I, I would have a new um, column called um, let's call it the sum. Of highest, so clicking enter, so I can also um, increase this H to make it contain the data. So as usual, I'll click equal to to proceed the formula. So I'm typing the formula manually because um, that is the best way for you to understand formulas. So you don't need most of much of this work to complete. And also, I am an average typer, so that means I'm not very slow in typing. So I guess it is actually better for me to type it in my hand. And also, you are advised to, to type your formula so that you will get used to them. Don't just use um, auto sum and all those auto fields formulas so that you will be able to gain experience in Excel. So, I'm summing. So, and even you can see that um, Excel is actually giving you the, um, giving you what it suggests you want to use. So, I want to sum the highest here. So, how do we? Use the highest here, so you can represent it as max, max. So we use the max formula here. Let's put the max. So we want to sum the maximum of. So just start from the first number to the last number. Then you have a comma. So that's we are looking for the next one. Yes, the closing parenthesis. Then comma. We want to sum the maximum on this um, my column, e three of column e of my table to the maximum. You can also use minimum, so let's even use minimum this time around. To the minimum, we use minimum function, minimum of um, on the column F. So just pick from the starting to the last um, cell. So then we'll make it of the closing parenthesis, and then we'll also close the. You notice that um, the, the number of opening parenthesis must be equal to the number of closing parenthesis. Have you noticed that? So we'll count the opening parenthesis 1, 2, 3. So I, I guess I need to. So here we have um, the number of opening parentheses as um, 1, 2. So we'll close this first one. So that means there's still something else to close. So Excel also gives us a tip because you can see this, this are in red. That means this P are in red. That means they are complete. This P are in red. But this this single formula, this single um, parenthesis that is black is a single. So that means it is not, it is not closed. So the closing one is going to settle that and then when we click enter we are going to get the sum of the maximum on this column and the minimum on this column so that is an example of nesting of, func of, of functions so this um in this sum in this sum function you have a maximum function and a minimum function nested in a sum function so that is not the only way we can do that we can also um nest a function in another function so we can use the count if count so the count if function it's it 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 um, helps us to know to know um, the number of times that a particular condition is satisfied. So we want to count if um, a range. So let's let's have this range. So we want to count if this range is um. We want to count if the sum of numbers on this range is greater than the sum of numbers on this range. So sum of numbers on the on the on the range from on from from this year to year is greater than sum of numbers on this year to year. So let's um input that um, let's have the range as um C three to C six. So we want to okay we want to count even sum of um I, I almost forgot the sum. So sum of C3 to C6. I want to count if the sum on that range is um, greater than. So let's use 
do Tana. So we use this this do Tana. Average greater than the average. So we want to check if the sum of this range is greater than the sum on here. Okay, let's use average though. It's greater than the average of the numbers here. Average. Let's use average. Yes. Not the average. Average of range. Let's just select the range. Average of range. Okay. Close your printer. So I need to see this printer. So E6. So with the closing parentheses, I'll close that and then finally I'll close the final one. So when I click enter, let's see what that, what, what that does. So now there's a problem with my formula. Uh, so not trying to type a formula. When typing when the first character is an equal to or minus, is that thing in the formula? So basically it looks like I have made an error. So it looks like let me let me try using this and because this is the sign it suggested. So let's let's enter. Okay, it looks like I have an issue with the formula. Type an apostrophe first. So let me let me use an any system. So it looks like we have an issue with this formula. So we instead we'll use a single quotation. Let's let's see if this is a single quote. Does the job. Okay. Type an apostrophe first. Okay. Let me see if we can use an apostrophe yet. So this is the kind of um, issue. So writing formulas in exam is almost like I'm programming. You have to debug your code. But it's at the end of the day, it's worth it. Or oh, instead, let's change the formula. So greater than average of each rate. Let's see what happens. Looks like we're having an issue with this formula. Greater than is greater than the average. Okay, let me change that to something else to see what's the issue. Greater than the five. So closing it, let's see what happens. So it looks like we have the an error to the sum. Range. So the range. We need the range instead of the sum. So let's use a range now. Count if okay, let's see. Oh, uh, I guess we really have an issue with this formula. Can't if this range, range. Okay, let's abandon this formula. I'm having an issue with that. Let's try something else. Another example of nesting of formulas. So instead of let's let's um have the maximum of totals so let's know which one of these totals is maximum so we'll use a um, equals to maximum function then inside that function we'll nest a um, we'll nest the total of these which we'll use a sum function for the total sum of so we'll input the range which is from here to here and then close the parentheses then the next um, Parameter that will be maximum of so rather sum of sum of next range is this then closing the parentheses again we have a um, sum of then the range just select the range close the parentheses so I get that does it so that's okay so when you click enter you will get the maximum of the sum of each of these so 
the maximum of the, each of the sum on each of this of this of these columns is 232 and that is obviously that is true because when we calculated the total the maximum of these three totals is 202 so that shows that these formulas are actually valid and they um they you they are actually um, useful and used so you can actually nest to any function you want to use you can nest any function as much as possible so you, if you want me to um explore much more many more examples of nesting function i will do a video on that special video on that but today this is just an overview of nesting of functions so we'll go to something else in my next episode thanks for watching